previously on Big Brother Minecraft. After Marty was evicted, Marty, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Kimmy rose from the block to the top. My dog! And <laughs> Kimmy wins the battle. Just household. a second. With Kimmy in power, she wanted to take out JJ for trying to backdoor her. This man, I, literally, this man right here, like, he wanted me out. He got Eli to vote me. At the nomination ceremony, she nominated JJ as the target and Eli as the pawn. My first nominee is JJ and my yeah. second nominee is Eli. At the veto competition, Kimmy pulled full power for the week, winning her second veto. Going, going, going. Dang, CJ just placed his th his last block. He needs to go back, but it's too Dang. late. Kimmy has won the power of veto. At the veto mean, she decided not to use the veto, which leading to JJ's eviction by a vote of two to one. JJ, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Yep. With five house guests battling out for the grand prize, who will rise to power as the new head of household? And who will walk out the front door? Find out tonight on Big Brother Minecraft. I think your dog is a good nominee. Yeah. Guess the votes are in. When I reveal the vote, the evicted house guest is just me moan, say goodbye, gather their belongings, and walk out the front door. By a vote of two to one, JJ, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Yep. Sorry, dude. Yeah, yeah good well, game. good game. Good yeah, guys. Bye bye. Bye. House guess the power is up for grabs. This competition is called BB Trivia. Here's how it's gonna work. In the actual show, you'll be giving questions about the actual show Big Brother. You'll, they'll, you two, two people will be facing against each other, and when when Andrew gives out the question, you will ring in the buzzer if you think you have the answer. If you have the answer right, you are correct and you move on. But oh. And the person that you're playing against will be eliminated. But if you get the question wrong, you will be eliminated and your opponent will be moving on. Last house gets standing will be the new head of household and earn a spot in the final four. Do you guys understand? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Andrew, would you mind randomizing who the two first yep. two people will go? First person, Hannah. Damn it. And Liz. Hannah and Liz, come Why on. Why couldn't this happen during the. Here's the first question Which season of Big Brother had the Quack Pack? Hannah. Hannah. Season 14? You're correct. Sorry, Liz. You have been eliminated. Mm -hmm. All right. Eli and CJ coming up. There's no particular yeah. order. You guys are up, going up. Whoever wins this will face against Hannah. I don't want to pick. Right, I. Here's your next question. Which season of Big Brother did Janelle say bye bye bitches? I don't even know. Oh, that was him. That was a me. That, that Eli. was Eli, yeah. Or was that season six? C correct. That is yeah. correct, yeah. yeah. CJ, you've been eliminated. Hannah, step on up. Yeah, stay I in your thing. Stay in there, um, Eli. Alright. Mm -hmm. Hannah, Eli, what if you will be to do at HOH? Here is your final question. How many of the modern era Big Brother seasons finished with a five to four vote? Hannah. Uh, what do you count as modern? Puck. Uh, past season sixteen. Uh, four. Sorry, Hannah. You have been eliminated, which means congratulations. I almost Eli. said three. You are the new head of household. <laughs> GG. It's great to win HOH. So me and CJ. Can. We have the power now, so we can put up 
they're kind of group of three or whatever. So if we can get one of them out, we'll have even numbers, hopefully going into the final four. If you can keep this thing going, you can keep this train going, we get all we get all the HOHs, hopefully me and CJ can make it final two. Eli, you won! You did it! There we go. You won the HOH! I know, right? I got, go. I got so lucky. I was... That, that last question... I don't know. That last question, I just had no idea. We did it, it for like, JJ. We did it for JJ. Yeah, we did it for JJ. So now, uh, I feel like there's still a chance I can go on the block if the two people who aren't on the block, the other one wins. So yeah. I feel like if you nominate the two better players, they'll have yeah. the worst chance. So how about... Obviously, Ken, or Ken, whatever her name. Ken, so, yeah. Yeah, and maybe Hannah, because Lizzie hasn't won anything. Yeah. yeah I mean, Kimmy. if Lizzie wins, just wow. Kimmy, Kimmy and Hannah? Yeah. Is that what you said? Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Plus, Hannah hasn't been up yet, so we can't have a perfect game. Yeah. Yeah, you're right about, yeah. If it happened to be like kind of what we were thinking of like yeah. last week. I can't believe we did that, dude. I know. I got lucky. I was like, the first question, the only reason I knew that was because I'd like watched one episode of season six or something. And I just remembered that was what Janelle was in. I'm and happy then... you beat me because I didn't know anything. Yeah. Wait, so, what was the question you got again? The Janelle one. Oh, uh, I knew the Janelle one. So all we need to hope oh, is yeah, we have yeah. a nine we have a ninety percent chance of us securing the bag this week. And I'll probably vote out Kenny or Kemi. Yeah, and you Kenny. can and then it'll be a tie and you you Victor. Yeah. Cause she's the biggest threat out of the three. Unless uh unless um Lizzie yeah, wants... You did that for JJ. Uh, unless uh Lizzie wants to uh vote out Kemi as well then we won't have a tie yeah so put up put up Kemi and Kemi and Hannah Jesus yeah Christ. don't don't even let them them talk to you because they might sway your mind somehow yeah. just don't let them talk to you just say okay because I feel like they still probably could sway I don't know if yeah. you fall for it but no just like I, I don't like there's not really much they can do at this point so yeah they put us all up. Alright. As the head of household, blah blah blah, two nominees. Okay. So it's a hard one, but I gotta vote I gotta I'm gonna put up uh Hannah and Kim. Both of you are really good at challenges and I just don't wanna go into it when it's like final four time. That's all I have to say. Yeah. Nomination ceremony is. Alright, house guests. This competition is called Mining to the End. Here's how it's gonna work. In front of you, there is oak blocks and an obsidian that's in your tunnel. Your job is to mine your way through from one end to the other. The first person who gets to the finish line and out of the walls of hell will win the power of each. You guys understand. Cut. Question. Mm -hmm. yeah. what? Do you have to mine all four blocks no, in each just area? No, one path. Just one path. It's one path. It doesn't really matter. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I didn't say go yet. I'm just clicking. All right. You guys may begin in three, two, one, go. You want Chanel? Go get it. You want Chanel? Go get it. Hey, oh, you can't just stand on top of the. I can't read. That's unfortunate. <laughs> and it's not even a reading. I know, but there's there's words on the blocks. Really. 
Wow, you must have ADHD. <laughs> I, 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 Who is calling I, me? I, I don't want to talk OCD. to you. Is it the same old man? I God, I hope not. Why don't you answer the call? Let's all talk to them. Oh, it's my mom. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Why are you playing in a Minecraft game show, sweetie? <laughs> ah, it's such a disappointment again. Well, are you trying to like shame her? No, I'm in. That as well. I like. <laughs> You want to now go and get it. You want to now go and get it. I just messed up. My mom's about to come knocking on my door and I won't be able to mute. God damn it. Oh no. And does your mom know that you met up with me in SeaWorld? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Why didn't you show her the video? Because she's mom, like, famous. So this is what you're doing on field trips. You're lying to us. And I don't know. <laughs> Hey, you're meeting up with e boys. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Especially ones that -boys. like go to college, like they're an e girl. Not gonna leave a good taste oh, in your mouth. Oh yeah, shut up. Who's in the lead right now? Uh, it's actually really like even. <laughs> like, you have to it's literally gonna be between seconds. I might have to replay back the footage. Whoever steps on the block first, that's who will win. Who will win? That's okay. Hannah has a little bit of the lead. CJ's a little bit like catching up. But it's still anybody's game. I want some commentation. I want. Yelling. Uh, oh, I just oh my god. <laughs> Does anybody have like a story they want to tell that way we can make this like a little bit interesting? Yeah, tell a story about how we met. Oh. Uh, so you see, one day I, I arrived in my biology class and my teacher goes, All right, we're gonna have a trip field trip to SeaWorld. And I was like, Wait a second, I know a YouTuber that lives very close to SeaWorld. And so then I was like, Hey, Andrew. Guess where I'm going? And he's like, where? And I was like, SeaWorld. And he was like, no way. And I was like, yes, where? And so we kind of like said that we were going to meet up, but I don't think we really made it clear until like the day before that we were going to meet up. And so yes. I wake up at 5.30 in the morning and like, um, I have to arrive at my school, had a panic attack that I thought I left my entire bag at the school. Um, and then it, at, around like eight o'clock, I messaged Andrew and I was like, hey, Andrew, we're still meeting up, right? And then I, Andrew, Andrew wasn't awake until like 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm panicking. Like, I'm not going to meet up with Andrew. And everyone was like, why do you keep checking your phone? And I was like, I'm trying to make sure that I'm meeting up with my internet friend. And they're like, you're meeting up with an internet friend? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then Angelina was like, are you sure he's even real? And I was like, yeah, he vlogs. <laughs> oh and so the, he, he like vlogs on YouTube and they're like, oh, what's his YouTube? And so I say Andrew Yellow. Oh God, and so God. Angelina pulls up <laughs> Andrew Yellow and sees big brother mine. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> and so she clicks on like the previous, like whatever episode was out at that time. I honestly don't know. Oh my god. And she like realizes that it's fucking Minecraft. And she's like, How could she play Minecraft with him? And I was like, I, Yeah, I played in like one of his things. And then like we kind of became. Oh, I think one of that's about to break out soon. I think I know which and one And she was just like, She was like, Hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Hannah has won the power. Hannah. Hannah. Congratulations, Hannah. Um. Okay. So I won a power. Um. And I get to decide whether I want to pull myself or Kimmy off. But before I do, um, I just want to say one thing to you, Eli. Remember who kept you safe last week? Remember who didn't keep you safe? Um. I'm using the veto on myself. Um. That's. Mm. All right. The power in here. Oh, I should put it on. Alright. You're quiet. He said that. Oh. Yeah, hi. Hi. So, I was just wondering if you would consider saving me. I feel like the other two are a duo. And if you let them go to the finale, because like the thing is that they're both better at comps. Like, if you save me, then most likely, like we'll both be together. And I feel like 
you like chance against them and i feel like you need to keep me please i'll think about it like the thing is that yeah i'm a i'm a person who can win comps but if you save me this week then i'll keep you safe because i know that they're a duo and if they're a duo in the final three then there's a two there's literally a like a 66 percent chance you won't all you have to do is fail one comp, and then they'll just take you out. Alright. And I feel like with Eli's, I, I feel like... Uh, and the thing is that also, Izzy is a much bigger, like, jury threat. I feel like with her is that she is, like, very social and she's very nice. I don't think there's one person who can probably say they hate her. I've pissed off so many people on the jury. I pissed off Rocker because I betrayed him. I've pissed off um, Spencer because I was against him. Like, everything. Like, I've pissed a lot of people off on the jury. Like, Izzy is a social threat, and this Hi. is... Hi. Hi. Yeah. It's gonna... Did anyone want to talk real quick? I don't know. Did you get asked? Oh, I'll talk to Hannah real quick. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like Izzy's a social threat. Like, you see how nice she is? There's no not one person who says they hate her. There's not one person... Like, literally, the best chance you have is with me, and I promise that you are, like, one of my number one allies. Like, when I told you the votes were going to go one way, they went one way. And the thing is that Hannah and Izzy and Lizzie both tried to betray you by, like, telling Eli, remember who tried to keep you safe and remember who got... ...to try and... So I feel like it'd be, un it'd be not a good idea to keep like them around and get out Izzy and to, like the save you can't save Lizzie because they are both against you and they're both against Eli they'll basically play this like card saying oh we're weak and then they'll, you'll end up targeting each other and then you'll go home and then they'll win yeah okay so I really hope you consider because I don't think it's wise to get me out and I'll be with you 100% all right you, you have my word all right okay I just need to talk okay Hi, Eli. So I was just talking to, like, I think it's going to tie. I think Izzy's going to get, like, with Hannah and they'll stay. But I was just going to, like, try and please. Why are you? I was just going to try and, like, talk. Okay, I'll go. Can... Like, nothing against you guys. It's just. Yeah, we can, I can leave. Sorry. It's, it's, it's sorry. But, like, for me, is that, like, I feel like Izzy and Hannah are a, a shared duo. Like, I was always the third wheel, and they were always together. Like, they were always on the same sides. They were always, like, kind of on the top with everyone else. They were always good. No, they have not pissed off a single person on that jury. Like, you guys have, been, like, gotten pissed off with, like, Marty, because Marty was against JJ, and you were associated with him. So Marty's not going to like you, and he'll be able to convince the rest of the jury not to like you. I've pissed off Rocker because I betrayed him. All right. I pissed off... Answer because I was against him too. Like I, I feel like Izzy has not pissed off a single person on that jury, and to keep her around will not only decrease your chances at winning in the end with like say challenges, but it'll also decrease your chances if you do make it to the end with one of them th that you will lose automatically. Okay, so I, just... I, I have one thing. Yeah. Do you, you swear? Like, on my you, word. On your word. Yes. That you will take me and Eli to the final three. A hundred percent, yes. Hannah's trying to get me out right now. Why would I go against you guys? I'm going to put my trust in you. I am giving you a hundred percent of my honesty, and I have not given this to a lot of people. I, I pledge everything that I have that I will stick with you guys. I would not stick to, with Hannah after she's trying to evict me right now. All right. Okay. And, Kimmy, Liz, and just a few moments. Your fellow Huskers will be casting their votes to evict Vlad. But before they do so, you each have a chance to plead your case on why you think you should stay. Kimmy, you are first. I go first again, okay. So I'm back in this position. It feels like I was just here like yesterday. Um, I have said my piece. I have said what I've needed to say. I have given what I say is my word and it is my word. I've like what I needed to do, I've talked to, I think most people, I don't know if I talked to Hannah, I'm sorry if I didn't, but um, I've told people why I believe I should stay, and I will honor everything that I say I did, so thanks. Alright, thank you, Kimmy. Liz, you're next. Hello. In this game, it is, uh, I have played a pretty loyal game to many of you, okay? I feel like I am, no, no, 
I'm less of a competition threat than my opponent, and I feel like keeping her in, she would definitely win in a jury vote against any of you. Um, so with that said, <laughs> I love all of you, no matter what, and it's been a fun time. All right. Thank you, Liz. Thank you both. All right. Time for the live vote to begin. The nominees are not allowed to vote. Eli, as the current head of household, you will always vote in the event of a tie. One time, the rest of you will walk into the diary room and cast your vote to evict. CJ, you are first. Please go to the diary room. Hello, CJ. Hi. Please cast your vote to evict. Dude, she really swayed me her way, but I feel like if she did make finale, she'll probably tell out all these game moves that she's done. And she'll probably beat me and Eli in the final three. So, I'm sorry I have to do this, but I, I vote to evict um, Kemi. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Hello, Hannah. Um, I stay loyal to whoever I was loyal to, especially since the beginning of the game. So, I unfortunately vote to evict. Victor, you cut out. You cut out. Uh, oh, um, Kimmy. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. House guests. Spencer's probably The happy. votes are in. <laughs> when I review the vote, the Victor House guests is just a few moments to say goodbye, gather the belongings, and walk out the front door. I'm probably going home. By a unanimous vote of two to zero. I'm gone. Bye. Kimmy, you have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Yeah, I, I Sorry. thought so. Sorry. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, I don't hold any grudges. It was a good oh, game. You guys. Me. It's fine. Quite amazing. Thanks. Good job, everybody. Thank Final you. four. Hello. Hi, Kimmy. Hi. So you were just evicted from the Big Brother Minecraft house, and you became, I think, the yeah fifth member of the jury. How are you feeling sad. right now? Um, I'm not actually that sad. I feel like everything I said I would accomplish, I've accomplished in this season. Um, I came into the game thinking that I would like play this dumb character, trying to like make people think that I'm an idiot, but. I really don't think I did that. I worked hard since day one. And though it is really like discomforting losing at final five when you're so close to the finale, I feel like I definitely accomplished everything I needed to do. And I am honestly quite happy with how everything ended. So you swore to CJ and Eli that you want to make it to the final three. Yeah. Why do you think they decided to backstab you at this point of the game? I think they were manipulated by is like Lizzie's niceness. I feel like Lizzie kind of used her like nice, cute, like quiet girl card to try and appease their likes likelihoods. I think Lizzie all she had to say was I love you all twice and then they would be like, Oh, let's save let's save Izzy or Lizzie, whatever, and evict Kimmy. I when I said that I would um appease to their deal and I would give it a hundred percent I meant that every word I would not go against either of them because Hannah was going to betray me and I knew she did because she voted me and I feel like CJ and Eli they stand a chance but it depends on how big that chance is going to end up in their favor all right so you were working with probably most of the people in this game yeah why do you think they decided to get you out? Like, wh why do you think it was time for you to be evicted from the house? I feel like one main problem with what happened throughout the season is that big threats kept targeting other big threats. And it kept going on in this cycle. Like, the moment Luan started spouting out all this stuff about we need to get out Rocker, we need to get out JJ, um, like, everyone was on that. Like, I made sure everyone was on that. I was like, oh my god, this guy's trying to play the game. Let's get him out. And I feel like that's how it was with a lot of people. Like, so many players got out simultaneously. Like, Luan, Muse, um, Cyphex, or whatever his name was, sorry. Um, and Aiden, like, 
Spencer, Rocker, so many big threats were taken out very early. So I feel like when it came down to the final five, I was the biggest threat left. And there was no differ differentiating myself from trying to move myself out of that box. I even admitted I am a, a challenge threat. I am a physical threat. Does that mean I'm a social threat? No, but I mean, I like to consider myself one because I mean, a lot of things that happened in the season were part of my plan. I think my main mistake though was taking out too many threats too like too fast any final words you want to say to your fellow fans that were rooting for you in in this game <laughs> what fans like people that um, were rooting but, for you oh <laughs> uh, okay um if there are any um i mean thanks for rooting for me i'm sorry i let you down but i definitely played my hardest and thank you for supporting me thanks all right thank you kimmy it was a pleasure Yay. having you on this season, we will see you at finale where you and yeah. the other jury members will be crowned the winner of Big Brother Minecraft Season 3. Yeah. All right. From outside the Big Brother Minecraft house, my name is Raptor with Kimmy. Good night.